Thank you, Madam Chair. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of the bipartisan IRS reform package, including the 21st Century IRS Act. There's a trust gap that exists between taxpayers and the IRS, and the IRS's information technology systems are a good example of why. The IRS has an urgent need to overhaul its IT systems, some of which date back to the Kennedy administration, but repeated mistakes, big and small, undermine our trust in them. Take the $12 million they spent on a new email system they couldn't use. The general report revealed the IRS bought it without first determining project infrastructure needs, integration requirements, business requirements, and whether the subscriptions were technologically feasible. Or take the return review program, the RRP. The new fraud detection program came in years behind schedule and hundreds of millions of dollars over budget. Here are just a few of the reasons the IRS cited when it put the RRP into a strategic pause in 2014. They said they paused to determine the priority and direction from IRS senior leadership, to articulate and align RRP's role in the broader business vision to ensure clear and concise understanding of scope, cost, and schedule with contractors, and finally, budgetary constraints. Mr. Speaker, unforced errors and turning vital projects into boondoggles, we would be applauding the IRS for buying a system off the shelf. Instead, we're scolding them for not asking the most basic questions before buying it. I hear complaints about the IRS's budget, and I think about the RRP. Senior leadership gave no direction, no one knew how it would fit into the big picture, and contractors were way out of the loop. Everyone essentially ran in circles until they ran out of money. You know what? More money can't fix failed leadership or a broken culture. Better guidelines, codified rules, and more intentional strategic planning can. That's why I introduced H.R. 5362, the IRS Information Technology Accountable Act, and I'm thankful it was included in the 21st Century IRS Act. My bill takes some important steps to prevent to per prevent future boondoggles and instill accountability. Number one, codifying the responsibilities of the chief information officer or the CIO. Two, requiring the CIO to develop, implement, and update a multi-year IT strategic plan and requiring regular coordination between the CIO and the chief procurement officer. It also singles out two major pro projects for independent first. First is CADE 2. It's still years from completion and almost a decade and a billion dollars spent. The other, Enterprise Case Management, is a system that was supposed to be used agency-wide but was suspended because the IRS bought software that couldn't be used agency-wide. These projects need to be on a better trajectory. Mr. Speaker, I'm proud we're taking important bipartisan steps to close this IRS trust gap. I want to thank Chairman Brady, Chairman Jenkins, and Mr. Bishop for all of their hard work on this bill. I urge my colleagues to support the 21st Century IRS Act, and I yield back.